Hi, this is Scott Dalb with Forma Technology. You could find us on the web at formatechnology.com. Today we're going to do another episode in our Informa series about the Avaya IP office. Today's series is going to be about moving telephones from one location to another, or moving extensions from one location to another. Let's begin. First, you have to understand that there are two different, three different types of telephones that you could be using, analog, digital, and IP. Let's talk about IP first. With the IP telephone, one of the benefits is you can unplug the IP phone, take it to another location, plug it back in. When the IP phone re-registers to the telephone system, it will re-register to the extension it was originally programmed with. So you can move IP phones around your office pretty easily. The digital and the analog are a little bit different. With the analog device, same, similar to the digital, there's two ways to change it. And we'll talk about the digital and the analog all together as one. The first way to change, to move the extension from one place to another, is to go into the phone closet, try to figure out which extension goes to which cord and move the cord from one location to another location. Again, moving the cross-connect cable from one place to another or the patch cable from one place to another. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is by using the IP office phone manager, which we're going to show you how to do that today. You go to extensions. If you notice, when you go to extensions, all the extensions populate themselves. On the bottom, here are all the IP extensions. Now, if you notice, the IP extensions do not have modules associated with them. That's because the IP phones aren't plugged into the IP office directly. They're plugged into your network. The analog phones, if you notice, these are all analog phones, they are plugged in to an individual port in the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the port the analog device is plugged into, and we're going to swap it from one port to another. So for instance, we have extension 1000, which is our Polycom analog device, and we're going to move that to where extension 1052 is. So by going into the base extension, we open up our keyboard. I now make this extension 1000. There's an X over here letting me know that there's duplicate extensions. We know that. It, it conflicts with extension 1000. We know that. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to extension 1000 now, and we're going to put that. I like to use the same extension that I moved it to, even though it's not necessary. We open the keyboard. We back it out. We make this extension 1052. If you notice, the X is now gone. The error is now gone. We hit OK. The two extensions have now switched places. 1000 is now in port 3, 1052 is now in port 1. I hit the merge or the save configuration file. Now in this case, it comes up with a merge. In some of the newer releases of the IP office, you can merge and it will move the extensions from place to place. On the older releases of the IP office, you must do an immediate or when free or a timed. Timed is where you could reset it. For instance, you could do it at 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning. When free will enable it to reboot itself or send the configuration to the system and reboot when no one is on the phone or immediate, it will do it instantaneously. So for instance, as soon as I hit OK, it will be sending this file to the system. The system will be rebooting itself and the two devices will be switching places. And that's it. And that's how easy it is to move extensions from one location to another. Thank you and have a nice day.